Hello everyone and welcome to this third introduction to AutoCAD 2019 video tutorial. So today we'll be going through a very basic concept which is object snaps or also called OSNAP. So I'll also be showing you how to apply snap overrides. Oh. Okay, so if I open up my AutoCAD, what is a snap? So the easiest way to explain it, if I draw line and a circle, maybe just some more random geometry here. So here, if you go to the bottom of your screen, um, you can turn on and off your object snaps by clicking on on this icon. Um, if you expand the tab, you can select your and deselect your snaps. So I normally like to use endpoint, midpoint, center, quadrant, intersection, extension, perpendicular, tangent and apparent intersection. Um, I normally have those ones on. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that if I'm going to draw another line or whatever geometry I'm going to draw, I can make sure that my point intersects with those snaps. So a line is made out of three line three points. One endpoint another endpoint and a midpoint. So you can see that the icon is different, that's a square, that's a triangle. So that's how you recognize them. So if I want my line to start from, from the midpoint, I can just click there on this nap. Now if I draw up, now that symbol comes up, which is a perpendicular snap. So that means that my line is going to intersect with this other line in a perpendicular manner. You can, for example, um, see the circle. A circle has four snaps. So it has four quadrants, one, two, three, and four, and a center point. So if you click on the center point now, I can end my line on the quadrant or I can carry on going forward and use um, perpendicular. Or I can just snap to this end point, to this end point, to the midpoint, wherever we wish. So we've seen our end point, midpoint, center and quadrant. If I turn off my perpendicular for a second and turn on my nearest, for instance, now when I draw a line, that symbol represents my nearest. So it goes along this line and spots the nearest point of the line. So you can just click there. And now it finds my other nearest. So yeah, it's spotting the nearest points on wherever I'm drawing. So I don't normally use nearest. I'll turn it off just to show you. We also have tangent. So if I draw a line from this point and approach the circle, you can see that that's the tangent. So it's drawing exactly to the tangent. Okay. Um, the other thing to have a look at is snapping reference lines. So what that means, I'll turn it off so you can see the difference. So if I draw a line from this endpoint, and try to use that endpoint as a reference. Let's say that 
I want my line, I want my endpoint to be vertically aligned with this endpoint. I can't, nothing, nothing's happening. So if I turn on my snap reference lines, now we see this line that allows us to snap vertically aligned with that endpoint. So it's very useful to have it turned on by default. Um, sometimes we can use apparent intersection. So let's say if we draw a line here, I will be showing you your um, apparent intersection snap. So if I draw a line, and now I try to use that reference point, stops working as soon as you zoom in or out. So I'll snap there so you can see that's highlighted in green. If you hover over it, you cancel it, as you can see. So just hover over it once and leave it there. And now hover over your endpoint and go down. And then it will show you the intersection between the two. And now you can just draw up to the endpoint. So it is very useful to know. The other concept I'll be showing you, I'll just draw more circles around here just to make it messy on purpose. Maybe some lines. So sometimes what happens is when you want to draw another feature and you have too much geometry going on and too many snaps, you see more and more points highlighting. And let's say if I want to find a certain certain point here, um, you will be hard because of the amount of snaps that we've got. So an easy way of getting over the problem so many people will think like, oh yeah, you would just have to um, turn the snaps off and keep on only the ones you want. But if you want to do that every time, you will, it's just a bit time consuming. So instead you can hold shift and right click. And this is what's called snap override. So now I can choose whatever snap I want. And it will override anything else. So if I choose, for instance, center. Now, whenever I hover over a circle, it spots the center. But as you can see, endpoints are not recognized anymore. They are temporarily disabled. If I want endpoints, shift right click, endpoint, and now AutoCAD only recognizes my endpoints. And then as soon as I hit escape and cancel the command and draw, something else back to normal it finds endpoints midpoints and whatever we've got selected can be very useful some of these snap overrides so for instance shift right click you can use temporary track point so let's say if you want to start drawing a line 100 mil from this point. You can use that feature. So let's say line, shift right click, temporary track point. And now 100. So our point is 100 mil from that one. You can also use from or mid between two points. So, for instance, if we have um, two circles, and we want to draw a line, and we want the point in between the centers, just shift right click, mid between two points, that point that point and now our point will start right in between.
what other snaps we've got. So we've got the same ones, we've also got point filters, nothing to worry about now, and 3D snap, which we'll get to that stage um, in a few more videos once we start doing a little bit of 3D design. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next.